G'day ladies and gents and welcome to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome back aboard the USS Grayling. Looks like Sierra 2 is about to get an auto identification Consonar. here. Sierra 2 is classified as escort. Two riggers and what is our third contestant? I'm betting that's going to be a trawler. We have another ASW patrol I think. So, we are in exactly the same position we were. Wait, it's not. Con Sonar, Sierra 3, is classified as merchant. Aha! Uh -huh. We may have actually found our target. So we're in exactly the same location we were at the... Well, for the last two engagements that we've had. The entire last video on the channel, in fact. And we haven't moved. The second the last battle ended, we were immediately engaged again. So it looks like, however, with the Andy, that that's a resupply ship, and that's what we're hunting for here, and we have two riggers. Okay, so there is a possibility we have no thermal air still. Make depth one, go zero, feet. zero feet, die by. Come right to one, eight, eight. Helm, I. Actually, no, let's face straight down to them. Come left to Range one, to three, targets. three. Helm, I. 20 kiloyards to Sierra 2. 23 kiloyards. Right, you know, that seems about right. These are actually pretty far out. Sierra 3 is at 20. Dive at so there's one, actually some zero, distances zero feet, involved dive here. The Andy has nothing. Active pings off the riggers. Straight and level, and let's get a total Gone, ray up. Our new contact bearing. One, and six, that's what three, I was thinking. Designated Sierra four. There's a submarine out here somewhere. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon. I'm just thinking, if that is our target, if that is the resupply ship we're going to sink, two riggers is not enough of an escort. There has to be more. Although... That's not aligning. Could actually be a biologic, maybe. No, it's a trawler. Con sonar, that one is Sierra a trawler. Four is classified as okay, so urgent. we can discount Sierra 4 for the moment. Alright. Shoot 2 1, aye, sir. Let's get two torpedoes in the water straight away. Shoot 2 2, I sir. Start sending them in. Sierra 1 and Sierra 2 are the targets. Once the torpedoes are close. Um, I am going to engage Sierra 3 with a anti-ship missile, considering how... Should, probably should check the range issues with this, because these do have a maximum after all. Alright, we're good. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. Just thought I'd quickly double check. I thought we'd be fine. Con Always sonar. double check. Sierra 4 is classified as merchant. Yep, okay, it's a trawler. So we have two riggers, the Andy and a trawler in the region. This still seems a little bit light. I'm still not convinced there isn't potentially a submarine floating around here as well, but all we can do is look for something in the water that's potentially starting to ping us that um, we can't see or uh, listen for it. At the moment, both the pings we're getting are coming off both the riggers, which is to be expected. So that makes sense. Alright, amazingly, the riggers have not counterfired at all. 
Torpedo 2 Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. is about to go straight underneath the rigger. Torpedo 1 has just activated and started tracking, so it will be coming Gone. from... Sonar. Noisemaker bearing. 1, 4, 8. Noisemaker too late. See, torpedo 1 will be coming from over here. There it is. Torpedo 1 back on the target. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Well, it's going straight into the stern. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, 2, last bearing, 1, 4, 9, contact breaking All up. Alright, 1 down. Second torpedo heading in. Now what's beautiful is the way the acoustics work in this, the rigger should only have detected, or quite possibly only detected, one torpedo approaching in, not two. And after the explosion, Sierra 1 won't hear this torpedo continuing through, at least not immediately, because it was so close to Sierra 2 when it detonated. So there's going to be a moment where Sierra 1 is deaf, and unable to do anything, and then it's going to realise there's a torpedo there. I'm really surprised about the lack of counter battery on that though. What have we got? It has torpedoes. It has set 65s. I'm surprised we didn't get counter fire off the rigger. That's unusual. What is our ambient in the water? Did they hear us? Only 79 decibels, although the rigger was fair moving there right when the torpedoes came in, so it's possible she just didn't hear anything. Alright, well, anyways, Sierra 1 is about to have a really bad time. She's definitely slowed down, so she's listening, so she should hear this come in. 16.1 kilo yards from our location, current speed, 6 knots. Alright... Torpedo's just about to go active. Rigger's starting to turn. Is she accelerating? Yep, she is. She's accelerating. Let's reload tube one. Just in the off chance that we need it. Fourteen knots. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Torpedo is acquired. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing one, seven, two. These two really aren't equipped for dealing with this, are they? Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, noise one, maker in. seven, three. Con sonar, lost contact, Sierra, one, and last goes bearing, one, now. seven, three, contact breaking up. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. About there. Two, three, aye, sir. Set depth. Go to a thousand feet. Depth one zero 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 feet. Die by. I don't want to keep track on this, but we are going to change course directly south. Come right to one eight two helm I. And set speed ten Make knots. Turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering us. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four. Last bearing one five eight. Contact faded.
Zero. Contact. Alright, so after action report, two riggers sunk and we don't actually have a reading on our third target, which is odd, 2800. Excellent results, however this was not your mission objective. Alright, so we just took out some civilian tonnage because it was there, I guess. That seems like an almost a waste of a missile. So in that case, we're going to have to move on and see whether or not we can actually find this goddamn resupply fleet. Alright, so we have moved a little bit up the coast from the last engagement, um, and this place is thick with submarines. Like, really, really thick with submarines. They are friggin' everywhere. So this is a submarine fleet. We have not found our target here. I have no idea what we have just got ourselves into. But I'm actually concerned about this mission now. Actually, it's looking just like a fox Con truck. sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Con sonar, Sierra 3, is classified as merchant. It's a merchant. That might just be a trawler. The main reason I'm concerned isn't so much because I'm worried about the submarines themselves. Con sonar, Sierra 2, is classified as merchant. I'm more concerned about our merchant. weapons count. We have two torpedoes loaded and two in storage, so we have four shots. We've got a submarine that we've got to deal with here, and we have two anti-ship missiles yet and we still haven't found our target fleet this is a concern we're running out of ammo but we have to keep sinking these bastards in order Con to actually sonar. sierra 2 is classified as merchant yeah, confirm sierra 2 is in fact a trawler so we yeah we have to keep sinking these bastards we have a foxtrot in here well, at least it'll be fairly easy to take care of so let's pull up its information um, it is 9.5 kilo yards out, travelling at 8 knots, 95% solution. Current depth is about 300 feet. Ambient noise is 75 decibels, which is much more quiet than I would like for this shot, but fair enough. Shoot 2 1, aye, sir. Torpedo in the water. It looks like it's just the one, but there is another submarine fleet out here that was not far away from this one, and there was two more that I had contacts on that disappeared. So, we have a lot of boats in the water. There is what looks to be potentially our target. Um, it looked like a, a resupply fleet, but it was much further in than our suspected patrol zone, and it doesn't appear to be moving, so I'm not sure if it is coming our way, or... You know, whether or not we've got to go deeper into enemy territory in order to get it. Although, with so many submarines in the area, it's entirely possible our, this, the, the tender fleet is actually coming in this direction, and we're catching the submarines that are in the area trying to find it to resupply. And with him turning away from us like this, this is going to be a pretty easy shot. Control, weapon acquired. Your weapons acquired, matching depth. I think the Foxtrot was just doing a turn back to check its own baffles, and I think it may Con have realised it's in trouble. There it is, yeah, it knows. One, three, it knows. Four. It knows it's in trouble. Countermeasure in the water. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd still like to see a full-on submarine sim, like you know, a like Silent uh, Silent Hunter or something on those lines, with these early generation Cold War boats. You know, stuff like the um, the Foxtrot, uh, the November. You know, those really, really, really early submarines, uh, US side submarines as well. That could be really interesting because that's a that's uh, an odd period for submarine combat as in much the same way that the first generation of jets is an odd period for aircraft combat and it's actually one of my favorite periods but torpedo hasn't taken the countermeasure and yeah this was only ever going to go one way con sonar lost contact sierra one last bearing one three seven contact say f in up. the chat boys Another Fox truck down. All right, after action report, three Mark 48s remaining, two, uh, two Moss and three anti-ship missiles, and one Fox truck sunk for 2,500 tons and 10,000 experience. So, okay, we got good experience out of this, but we really need to start actually finding a target. So, if, well, this will be fifth, fifth shot trying to find the target in this area at this point. Resume your actual mission objective immediately. We're trying, we're in the patrol zone, we're searching, Tell the Russians to stop attacking us. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing three zero zero. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra two bearing three one six. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a bit of a shit show here at the moment. We're just below the thermal layer, trying to hide, making a turn around. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two last bearing three <sighs> one Sierra five two. contact faded. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra two bearing three. These guys one, are jumping four. in and out that much. I haven't been able to identify any of them yet. We have got a surface fleet here. We've had to travel deep into the Barrett Sea in order to be able to actually get within range Con of these guys sonar lost contact Sierra two last bearing three one three contact okay, so that's a cashin we've got a cashin con sonar lost contact and we Sierra, lost them three, all again last bearing two nine eight contact faded con sonar regained contact on Sierra two bearing Sierra three, two one, is not a cashin Could be a potty, I'm just double checking. It doesn't look like it's quite right. Con sonar lost and contact. We lost it. Sierra two. Last bearing three. Shit. One. Two. Contact faded. Now the reason I don't have the tow to rate out at the moment is because we should Come right straight to north now. Zero, zero, the um zero. we found I'm ourselves entering this combat zone in the wrong on direction. Sierra which two. Is bearing fun. three. One. One. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing two nine seven. Con sonar yeah, Sierra potty. two is classified as escort. So we have a potty. Sierra three also looks like a potty. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as escort. Which means Sierra 1, if this is our fleet, is likely our surface ship, but we cannot see it Con properly. Sonar regained no, contact we've got it again. On Sierra 1, bearing I'm gonna 3, guess. 1, 8. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, it doesn't correspond to anything there. Con, Helm, steady course. We have two Cashins and two Potties. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two this doesn't last seem bearing right. three There's zero no... nine contact faded. This should have been, at least according to the map information, a convoy. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra oh, wow, four in last two. bearing. Yeah, I can't two, rely on these things. One contact faded. I cannot rely on this at all. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing two eight one. All right. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Ultra quiet. Make depth Make four five depth. Feet. I hate Die to do by. this, but we might actually have to. Con sonar regained pop contact the scope. on Sierra two. All right, we've got the cache and we've got zero, the potty. Eight. 
Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, four. Last bearing, two, eight, zero. Contact faded. I'm thinking we might have to acquire these visually just to be sure. I've never seen this much jitter in a fleet before. Con sonar new contact bearing. We have two, a Sierra nine, five. Nine. Designated Sierra five. Okay, so Sierra five might be our target. Con sonar new contact we have a Sierra bearing. Six. Two, nine, four. Designated Sierra okay, six. Okay, Sierra six is much more concerning. What is Sierra six? Sierra 6, six is, is classified our target. as merchant. Sierra 5 is really quiet. Sierra 5 potentially a submarine. No, actually not looking like a submarine. Sonar Sierra 5 is classified as merchant. Alright, potentially another supply ship. That we can't see particularly well. Alright. I'm reasonably sure on a couple of these. Range. 15. Raise the, Pop the SM mask quickly. Lower the ESM mast. Alright, M2. The potty has the radar on. The others are not scanning on radar, only the M2. So second, and it's slowed down, it's listening for us now, so we picked up a little bit of that. Um, okay, we might have got a return off our ESM mast. Um, Shulkin's just noisy. Potty. Donkey radar, torpedoes, guns, nothing too flash. Passion. Interesting. Potty's not. Oh, it's done K. Okay. 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 One way or another, we got to put torpedoes in the water. So. Shoot two one. Aye, sir. Shoot two two. Aye, sir. Straight across the bottom. That's where they're heading. So we're going to try and get them into intercept. We have enough. We've got one reload on the torpedoes. But we have three missiles on board. One loaded, two in storage. We technically have enough to sink all of these and wipe out the entire fleet. If nothing misses, everything lands. But once we do that, we're out of everything and we have to go. We have to go back. So if this isn't our target, this is it. We we have to commit here. If this isn't the target, we're done. We're going home, mission not complete. And this will be a... Well, we should be a return back to Holy Lock to resupply order straight away. So... And we got a long drive to get back. We're close to... Uh, we're well and truly damn near within line of sight of Russia's dry docks at this point. <laughs> Alright, torpedoes are getting pretty close to position at this point. We still had no counterfire because, obviously, I have to be concerned about the mission beyond anything else. First targets are going to be Sierra 6 and Sierra 5. They have to be sunk. That gives us one torpedo remaining to use at will.
on whatever of the escort seems like it would be most appropriate, and then we're going to have to hope we can get missiles into the rest of the escorts without them counter-battering us to oblivion. So we're going to be... How much water are we in? Alright, so the bottom's at 1,200 here. We're actually relatively shallow. So, yeah, we're missiles away. We're going to pop below the thermal layer, missiles away, and then we're going to head for... Actually, it's probably best we just stay under the thermal... Yeah, just under the thermal layer, and then just put some distance. Probably head directly north for our exit. One way or another, this is not going to last long once these first torpedoes hit. I think the potty there is going to be the main target, simply because it's the closest, it's the one that's most likely going to be a risk, so we take the potty out first, with the next torpedo, while they're all trying to work out where the hell they just got hit from, and then the two cashins and the third potty will be the next targets for a missile, uh, a, um, a three launch missile salvo, and as soon as the missiles are out we just get the hell out of here, drop, drop a moss, run the moss towards them and we we make our make ourselves scarce. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three. Last bearing two. So that's assuming seven, we can two. see them. Contact faded. Con I mean, sonar point, regained contact on. Sierra three. Bearing the two, Andy seven, is two. Over eighteen kilo yards out. But thankfully they're all heading in the wrong direction too. So they've got to turn around, and hopefully they'll think the attack attacks from somewhere far away from us. Although the missile trails might give them out a give might give it away just a little. All right, let's turn two in, and let's adjust course on the chil. Or turn one in and adjust course on two for the chilkin. Con fire control weapon All right. acquired. Torpedo one has acquired target. Amazingly, nothing else has affected these torpedoes yet. Although, to be fair, yeah, they're running at 20 knots, and it's 102 decibels in the water here. It's real noisy. Lots of noise. Lots of noise. And they're running fast, so they ain't... This is going to be a complete surprise. They're going to have no idea this hit them. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Nope. No, no, wrong boat. Wrong boat. I like your enthusiasm, but no, one each. Okay, on the right targets now. Chilkin first. Hopefully these are enough to sink these, to be honest. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, five. Last bearing, two. All right, six, Chilkin eight. Hit. Contact breaking up. First target down. Now's about the time the escort's going to start panicking. That was definitely torpedoes in the water. So that's counter battery off the escorts. Blind counter battery, I might add. They have no idea what the hell's going on. And. Con sonar Impact lost on the contact. Andy. All right, Sierra, two targets six, down. Last bearing, two, six, five. Contact breaking up. Missile loading. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking. Reload. But I'm thinking maybe we won't hit the escort. Con, torpedo room, two, two, ready. I've only got one eight, torpedo eight, left. One, if I zero, run into zero, anything eight, dive, on the way back, I have no means of defending myself. If I fire this last torpedo. So let's put eight, ourselves at 200 two, feet. Zero, zero, eight, dive, 
and just keep heading north. Hopefully, they'll have no Con idea where this is coming from. Contact. Sierra, one, last bearing, two, seven, seven, contact faded. And we'll actually escape out of here. Alright, so that took a little while to actually evade from, but we did manage to escape. We did hit our targets, the Chilkin and the Andy were taken down, 29,200 tons, one torpedo remaining. We didn't appear to get any experience for that one, although I suppose we didn't sink any military ships, and that seems to be what orders those up. Unfortunately, you know, not ideal. We left two cashins and two potties on the table, but it's better to get away with one torpedo, so if we run into something that's really nasty, uh, we have something to fire back. Now, here's the moment of truth. Did we hit our targets? Mission update. Good to hear you intercepted and destroyed the enemy replenishment resources. Keep up the good work. Await additional orders on this downlink. So that was the target. It wasn't anywhere near the patrol zone we were given. It was far deeper into enemy territory. And we only just managed to pick it up. And now we've got to get back with only one torpedo. So, what's our new mission? Well, first, what's our news report? Navy moves in. NATO warships and submarines have taken up several new strategic positions, including some around the Barents Sea, in response to significantly reduced Soviet naval activity. Sources close to the Pentagon say the war is taking a heavy toll on enemy naval operations. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> and their test supply lines continue to be targeted by NATO forces. Naval commenters welcome the move as a fairly low-risk way to exploit geography and perceived weakness in the Soviet strategy. Ship design philosophy, the Russians don't build ships with real staying power, said one retired admiral. If we can force them to move an additional 500 miles each way to refuel and rearm, we've taken them out of the fight for days. Yeah, that's fair. Return immediately to Holy Lock, Scotland for repairs and rep to replenish stores. Okay, so yes, it knows we're about out of shots. Time to go home, pick up a reload, and see where they're going to send us off to next. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you've enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel very soon, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.